got it guys welcome back to New Zealand now this week we've had an absolutely crazy week weather wise we had a big old spring storm come through which gave us uh, two days of absolutely solid rain which was quite interesting made uh, made life at work quite busy floods and a few crashes rainy weather weather type shots we had a few slips and it was quite interesting so it's a good week a few day, good few days at work and then for the last two days once the storm cleared kind of expecting the uh, the good weather to come back straight away it didn't uh, we, we got this yesterday was okay but we got this really weird cloud patterns in the sky uh, lenticular clouds just sort of drifting across the sky there and they were they were beautiful and I was really banking on last night those those clouds lighting up went for a bit of a walk in the hills uh, the light never came it just sort of dulled out it just faded away and, and that was that nothing really to be had I got one shot but it was nothing nothing I'm really proud of uh, and then today it's just been it's been like this what you can see outside now it's just been gray and kind of dull but we have again we've got some quite quite distinctive clouds up there I've got no idea what sort of clouds they are they you know some of them been quite streaky like look like rips in the sky it's been, it's been quite uh, quite strange so just finished work I've got a few days off so it's in the uh, in the van pick my young fella up Seth we're gonna go up to Lake Tatera now I was there a few weeks ago I would shot a video up there a few weeks ago I'll put a link above there if you want to check that out the plan is we'll get there and we're gonna do a night walk now to put this in context, I uh, the beginning the beginning of the week on Monday night, I went to a, a presentation at the Royal Astronomical Society or the Astronomical Royal Society, whichever. Anyway, it was all about space and that sort of stuff. A lot of it I don't understand. No, correct that. I don't understand any of it. What I do understand is that I enjoy astrophotography. It's something that I enjoy doing. A guest speaker there. A guy called Babak Talfreshi. He is from Iran, uh, and he's he lives he lives in Boston now in the States. But he shoots. One of his jobs he shoots for the National Geographic National Ge National Geographic magazine. And some of his stuff is it's all night photography. The majority of his stuff is night photography, and it is spectacular. I mean, it was. His time lapses, his photography, just wow, jaw-droppingly epic. You really need to check him out. I'll put a link in the notes below somewhere to his YouTube channel or to his Instagram. Well worth a look. Anyway, so I've been quite inspired to get out there and do a bit of astro again. Another part of what Babak does, he shoots all different moon phases. So I'll shoot him full moon, half moon, whatever. New moons, the lot. And some of his shots are really interesting. So anyway, long story short, I'm inspired again. Uh, so me and Seth are going to get out tonight uh, after dark, pack the van up, do a night hike up the hills, and uh, see if we can recreate that shot from the other week, the video above, link above, wherever it was. We're going to try and recreate that sort of shot and just just see what sort of night photographs you come up with. Long exposure, sit on, sit the camera on a tripod and. Uh, and just play basically and see what we get come along for the ride guys and uh, hopefully fingers crossed we uh, we make a few nice photographs if this is your first time visiting my channel guys and you uh, for some strange reason you kind of like what I'm putting out there you're in the minority at the minute but anyway if you like it subscribe give us a like all that sort of a like it comments always welcome all right guys uh, for the time being Let's hit the road, pick the lad up, and uh, we'll crack on. Catch you later.
looks nice. So last night we did that walk, pitch black obviously, got up the hill, blowing absolute gale, it was really, it was pretty wicked, it was hard to take photographs let alone try and do a bit of a video, so we managed to, managed to sort of, we managed to set in a sheltered spot, set the camera up on a tripod, between 25, 30 second exposures, f2.8, ISO 3200, and to be honest, the first couple of shots were okay. Then as the clouds started moving, we got some incredible formations, rolling black clouds. We got some stars popping out on one corner. We've got the lake in the distance. We've got a couple of trucks, logging trucks on the main highway there. Worked out a treat, really did come out really cool. And the initial plan this morning was to get up go for another walk, try and shoot sunrise, hitting the lake. Unfortunately that failed at the first hurdle. I got back to the van last night, me and Seth, after the walk, and start playing a few tunes, singing his asses off. Tune after tune after tune, we had some banging tunes on, and we had a cracking night, a cracking night sing along in the van. It was awesome. But unfortunately, unfortunately next time we looked, sort of 1.30, 2 a.m. So we uh, pulled the pin on that, went to sleep, slept through sunrise. It's now 8 a.m. The sun's beautiful, it's gonna be a cracking day. We've got some incredibly moody skies over that side, which would have made some fantastic photographs. And I'm kind of, um, I'm sat here sort of kicking myself a little bit, that I didn't make the effort to get up because I'm pretty sure that bank of dark cloud would have lit up a treat this morning. Unfortunately, I'll never know. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It's going to be a good day. Alright guys. So from New Zealand, on a quick little overnighter to Lake Tatira. Hope you're having a great day or night, wherever you are in this beautiful, beautiful world. Until next time, guys. Kakiteano. Out. Oh, what? Yeah, that told them, mate, yeah. That told them. You don't know what to do. Just wants to look good for you. So he rushes in to tell you what he did today.